fighting is a good thing. <laughs> Who would have ever told you that? That's right. So fighting is a couple. We want you to fight, but we want you to fight fair. And we want you to have the right tools so you can fight to solve conflict in a positive way. Okay, that's, that's so much better. So much better worded. Hi, we are David and Teresa Mabry coming to you from one another marriage. And um, if you are catching us for the first time, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications so you can get notified when we have a new video up. Um, if you have already been following us, we so appreciate you, our one another couples. Yep. And um, we're just excited because today we are wrapping up our Love Step um, series that we've been doing. And basically, we've been talking about how to love one another, mm -hmm. serve one another, touch one another, edify one another. And today is P for peace, how to have peace with one another. That's right. And that's what we're about. And we base this upon the idea that we're to live at harmony with one another. And that harmony word, we know that's got like, oh, have harmony <laughs> with one another. It's not what we're talking about. It's like, and it's not also to fake it or whatever that right. you're kind of like, you ignore things. Because that's like the one of the worst things to do is ignore conflict. Mm -hmm. Our broadest definition of conflict is, and we need to go with this definition, is that anytime there's a difference of an opinion, right? Mm. And then it can go on a scale, right? It right. can be like, well, I I like red, you like blue. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a conflict, but it's a difference of opinion. Right. But then it goes all the way to a fight over over money, mm -hmm. over t uh, children, how many children to have, how to parent those children. Right. There are all kinds of things to fight over, right? Right. Uh, what are your uh, What are your preferences? Um, do you like to leave the toilet lid up or down? Mm -hmm. The toilet roll paper does it go over or under? Um, preferences into cooking, mm -hmm. um, whether or not uh, maybe something that one person grew up on having in their family, the other person didn't, and then you get married and you start fixing that, and it's like, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, I, I want to hang out with my friends. Right. You want me to hang out with you. Right. Uh, you, you, um, I, I, I need to go spend time with your mother, and then mm -hmm. you need to spend time with my mother. Or right. It's like, there's so many things to fight over. <laughs> yeah. But what we want to encourage is that you can have peace with one another, and it starts with a foundation. You have in harmony with one another. And the first thing that we have to remember, right, is to think of the best of the other, of person. The other person. Put you want to pull out the best. We talked about right. that the last video. Go see that one. Right. How to edify one another. But you want to think the best of your partner, right? Yes, absolutely. Um, if you can think the best of your partner, that can take care of so. Um, so many like kind of piddly disagreements that can mm -hmm. happen. It's it's okay not to solve everything. That's right. In fact, <laughs> what we find is that um, you know Dr. John Gottman, he's like this marriage therapist guru. He he's this guy's a genius. He's done a lot of great work with couples, mm -hmm. and his claim is that sixty to seventy percent of conflict is never resolved in the healthiest, happiest couples. Right. So the key there is is understanding what is a minor offense and what mm -hmm. is a major offense and then allowing yourself not to be offended at those things that you really shouldn't be uh, offended by. To overlook right. minor offenses. That's a huge thing. Overlook minor offenses. Right. Yes. So. So we want to seek unity. Seek we unity. We want to seek harmony. Harmony. Seek kindness. Yes. See the best in one another. Yes. And, um, and we want to be able to go through a set, have the right tools in our toolbox for mm -hmm. solving that. So for us to get into that today, I think you have a couple questions for us. Let's walk through these questions <clears throat> and maybe through the questions we can discover some really good tools. Right. So um, how about the, this comes to us again from our conversation starter card. So um, let's see. What about? Oh, this is a good one. What can each of us both do in solving a disagreement that would result in a win-win situation? Mm -hmm. So, what do each of us? What, yeah. would, what would each of us do that would result in a win-win? Yeah, I think I think for me, the one of the most effective strategies when we're 
at odds mm-hmm. with one another when we have conflict. Differences of opinion. Differences of opinion. <laughs> is it, I think, uh, for uh, for me to be uh, patient and for me to actually listen to, to what you're saying. Mm-hmm. And even, I think, when I say back to you, if I kind of seek that, like, okay, what is she really saying? And then say that back to you and then be very patient with what you're saying kind of like okay i need to seek to understand where you're coming from on this issue and not try to get my opinion out there first Mm -hmm. so okay that's good yeah and i think for myself i would say probably um recognizing that um you're not my enemy Mm -hmm. and um and and holding uh holding myself a little bit more in check with like my emotion. Mm -hmm. So like the more emotional I get, the louder I talk and it appears I'm like yelling. Mm -hmm. So um, being able to, to pull back on my emotion a little bit so that that doesn't mix in and color the situation Mm -hmm. and really trying to hear then what you're, what you're responding to me with. That's a great point is that it matters what part of your brain that you decide to uh, set up, your chairs and sit in during a discussion for a conflict. Mm -hmm. If you set up your chairs in your emotional part of your brain, that room of your brain, you're going to have a problem. (laughs) But if you set up the chairs and sit down together in your thinking part of your brains, which usually we ask couples to do a timeout, like know when to say, Hey, it's it's time out. Right. And actually that was, that was another question over here on this side. Yeah. I saw it earlier. At what point in a disagreement do you recognize your need for a timeout? Ah, good. nice segue. I didn't even see that coming. Nice choice of question. Ta-da. Okay, how? Okay, so for me, so if that's our question today, my my response, I believe I need a timeout when I'm mm-hmm. too emotionally tied to, or I'm too connected, or too close to the situation, and I'm um, right, and I'm feeling pretty uh, committed to my direction, yeah. and or here's another one that's really good uh, that probably applies to me more when I'm hangry. Oh yeah, uh, that's so easy <laughs> well, I to think do. That's for both of us, <laughs> I'm like if I'm hungry and tired, right? Uh, it's so much more difficult for me, and I need right. a timeout. I'm like, okay, I need to go get a snack. I need mm-hmm. some time away, then I can mm-hmm. collect my thoughts. Mm-hmm. And I would think for myself, I would say hangry, um, tired, but also if I've got too many other things mm-hmm. on my brain, if it's too if it's too packed of a day already, and then you throw in some type of a disagreement, it's just it's just better to just call for the timeout. But when you call for a timeout, you always need to make the time to return back and mm-hmm. f- follow up on the discussion and finish it. Yeah, so. that's right. Mm-hmm. So there are your questions today. We would be remiss if we didn't hit you real quick with when you do work through conflict to have peace with one another, make sure you uh, kind of share and hear from each other's perspectives. Mm-hmm. You can negotiate and mm-hmm. process a win-win for both, uh, both of you, but it takes much uh, patience. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below. What about you? How do you best handle conflict when it happens in your relationship? And if this uh, video was of value to you, hit that like button, like Teresa said earlier. And we'd love for you to subscribe and become part of this uh, one another couples, become part of our tribe. We, uh, we'd love to help as many couples as possible, and it helps us to hear from you as well. So thanks for listening today, and it's uh, thanks for joining us. Thank you. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.